I'm Brescia Narmit, and I'm a Blockchain Web3 Specialist Solutions Architect here at AWS. In this video, I will show you how to get started on using Amazon Managed Blockchain or AMB Access Bitcoin. I will be going over code in JavaScript and Python to retrieve the current block height of the Bitcoin mainnet or testnet by calling the getBlockCountJSON RPC method with the signature version 4 or SIGv4 authentication. In the description box below, I will also link the whole repost article where it also walks you through how to implement this in Go. At this point, let me explain what Amazon Managed Blockchain or AMB Access Bitcoin is and what it can do. AMB Access Bitcoin provides you with serverless access to the Bitcoin blockchain without requiring you to provision and manage any Bitcoin infrastructure, including nodes. You can use this managed service to access the Bitcoin networks quickly and on demand, reducing your overall cost of ownership. The AMB Access Bitcoin provides you with access to the Bitcoin network through full nodes running the Bitcoin core client with the wallet functionality disabled and supporting several JSON remote procedure or JSON RPC calls. You can invoke Bitcoin JSON RPCs to communicate with Bitcoin nodes managed by the managed blockchain to interact with the Bitcoin networks. With the Bitcoin JSON RPCs, you can read data and write transactions, including querying data and submitting transactions to the Bitcoin networks by using the Amazon Managed Blockchain service. Some things to consider and some limitations you might want to keep in mind while using the Amazon Managed Blockchain or AMB Access Bitcoin are, number one, the supported Bitcoin networks. So with AMB Access Bitcoin, it supports the mainnet, which is the public Bitcoin blockchain secured by proof of work consensus and on which the Bitcoin or BTC cryptocurrencies issued and transacted. In addition to that, it also supports test, the testnet, um, which is an alternative Bitcoin blockchain used for testing. Another thing to keep in mind is service endpoints. So. In just a moment, when I go over the code snippets, I will show you the service endpoints that you'll have to access in order for you to access AMB Access Bitcoin. Next, mining is not supported with AMB Access Bitcoin. And when making calls to the Bitcoin JSON RPCs on Amazon Managed Blockchain, you can do so over an HTTPS connection authenticated using the signature version 4 or SIGv4 signing process. This means that only authorized IAM principals in the AWS account can make Bitcoin JSON RPC calls. To do this, AWS credentials, an access key ID, and a secret access key must be provided with the call. Now that I went over what AMB Access Bitcoin is, let me show you how this would work in VS Code. However, before we get to that, let me quickly go over the prerequisites so that you can follow along as well. Since I will be showing you code snippets in both JavaScript and Python, in order for you to be able to follow along, you will need to install both the AWS SDKs for both JavaScript and Python, then install the AWS command line interface or CLI, and then make sure you have correctly configured your AWS credentials. Let me first walk you through the JavaScript code snippet where I make a call to the get block count JSON RPC. First, we can set a region to US East 1, and then we can make the SIGv4 call. So this is where we set the, our credentials. In this example, we'll set it to the default provider and our service is our managed blockchain. For a region, we'll set it to, again, US East 1 and then we'll set our SHA-256. After that, we will make the actual RPC request, and this is where we'll make a call to the get block count JSON RPC. If you wanted to make a call to a different uh, JSON RPC, you can just swap it out and put that 
JSON RPC in there instead. However, we want to use get block count in this example because we're trying to retrieve the current block of the height of either the Bitcoin mainnet or testnet. Um, however, in this example, we're going to go with the mainnet. But if we wanted to swap it out for the testnet, we could just delete that and set it to the testnet. However, for this example, we'll keep it as the mainnet. And this is the service endpoint that I was talking about earlier. And in order to access AMB Access Bitcoin mainnet, this is the URL that you'll be pointing to. Here we have a try catch statement where we're calling the SIG v4 and making a signed request using Axos with signed headers and body, and then we're returning the data. So what I'll do is go to the terminal and then run node btc.js. And here we have our response, which is the height of our Bitcoin mainnet. And this is our response. So let me do the same. Let me do the same thing in Python. So I'll walk you through this Python code, where it'll return the same thing. So first, we make we have our signed RPC request function, where we set the session equal to session, get the credentials, have our SIG v4. We then make our JSON RPC request and we then return the HTTP response. And then down here, we're defining our parameters. So again, our region is set to US East 1. Our service is managed blockchain. Our network, we'll change this to testnet to see how this uh, works for the testnet. And then this is our service endpoint that we're making a call to. And then again, we're making a call to specifically the get block count JSON RPC. So that's our method. And here we call the signed RPC request method. And then we get a response as a JSON value. So let me run this instead of node btc.js. Uh, we'll do Python 3 BTC py. And this is the value we get. So in this case, this is the current block height of the Bitcoin testnet. At this point, let me quickly recap what we went over today in this video. So first I introduced to you what Amazon Managed Blockchain or AMB Access Bitcoin is and the value prop for it. And then I briefly went over the prerequisites if you wanted to follow along with the video. And then I stepped through a code snippet in both JavaScript and Python on how to make a call to the get block count JSON RPC in order to find out the current height of the fully validated blockchain. So that'll be all for today. To learn more about AMB Access Bitcoin, please refer to the links in the description box below. Once again, the link to the full repost article is in the description box below as well, which also includes a code snippet in Go code to implement what we went over today, if that is what your preferred language is. So let's start building.